welcome to another video in this video i will discuss what is pain of thalamitis <clears throat> it is the inflammation of all cords of the human eye including intraocular structures so it is the inflammation of all cords of the human eye it can be caused by any infection particularly from pseudomonas species clostridium species in case of whipple's disease and also can be caused by fungi symptoms the most common symptoms are ocular pain blurring of vision and ocular discharge During the later stages of infection the patients may develop severe inflammation with chemosis proptosis that is bulging of eye hypopoeian pain of thalamitis and it can lead to blindness it should be remembered that pain of thalamitis is mostly the complication of end of thalamitis signs the signs are systemic features of toxemia such as fever ocular movements are restricted and painful and this is the sign that differentiates it from endophthalmitis that is ocular movements are restricted and painful chemosis of conjunctiva and edema are also observed then edges of wound or corneal incision become yellowish and necrotic corneal infiltrates and sloughing begins hypopoeian versions that is what is hypopoeian hypopoeian is actually inflammation of the pus uh, accumulation of the pus in the anterior chamber then blindness that is no perception of light can occur so these are the signs treatment the main treatment for endogenous bacterial pain of thalamitis includes intravitreal and periocular injections of antibiotics and dexamethasone combinations so this combination is used the periocular treatment includes subconjunctival and subtenance injections evisceration is also the treatment for complicated pain of thalamitis here you should remember this difference this is very important that the term endophthalmitis describes inflammation of the internal tissues of the eye only inflammation of the internal tissues of the eye only but the pain of thalamitis describes inflammation of the internal tissues as well as external layers of the eye internal tissues as well as external layers of the eye including intraocular muscles so this is all about pain of thalamitis and difference between endophthalmitis and pain of thalamitis thank you